with uh, Brummy Prepper, we're going to do uh, a run through of his, his vehicle. So this is his bug out vehicle, you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, uh, got it a couple of years ago, completely standard. And first time at the Bushcraft Show, I nearly got stuck. So I decided that's not good enough, so I decided to do a few modifications and to, to, to today it's uh, got like this. And it's still got a few more things to do, but I shall sort things out later. It will get better. <laughs> Right, so the back end of your vehicle, uh, how have you kitted this out then? Right, like I said, uh, I've got a fridge in here full of MREs and water and bits and pieces in there. This one here, there's a load of camping gear, cookers, extra stage, water filtration stuff, a few spares clothes. In here is all tools and recovery. I have an air compressor in the side and over there. Obviously, all my camping gear has been stowed on the top at the moment. Uh, homemade bumper, I've done that myself. Obviously you've got a shanky trailer, so you've got the NATO tow hitch. Also you've got the heavy duty diesel guard in it. Yeah, yeah, guard. diesel tank guard, yeah. And they've got diesel guards and other than that, I can see the lights. What room frappy is that? I can't remember the place I had it from, but I had it from a place in Stoke it was on eBay. It's a bit like a rhino right? Yeah. And you've got the, the LED work light and the TV yeah. area real mounted. Yeah. yeah. Other than that, like I said, most of the modifications on this are mechanical and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you've got your trailer as well, yep. pack all your extra gear for long trips. That's it. So, cool. The box is in the garage, ready to go. Uh, other than that... Right, so the front of the vehicle. That's a pretty substantial yep. bump of that. And uh, what winch have you got? It's the uh, Super Winch, uh, 12 and a half thousand kilo. So more than, more than enough oh, to pull yeah, yeah. this out. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to double up no, on that one. Uh, modifications on the engine, what have you, what have you done there then? Well, I'll <laughs> bring you over for this one. Like I say, you've got twin batteries in there. And it does look clean, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, it's yeah. the cleanest bit of the car. The weirdest bit is the engine being sat low because the yeah. body's been raised up. Well, like I said, I mean, with like little bits on the steering you have to do with the four inch lift. Yep. I had to build that because the kit to get that to do it comes from Australia. Right. So I actually made that. <laughs> right. I'm a goody grinder, but yeah. So you've got a split charge system, split so you're running. System. That's normally where you have your jack in it. Is that, is that where yeah, the jack sits? That's right, yeah. yeah. So you fit an extra battery in there. That's it. Proper split charge system. Is that your solenoid for solenoid the Solenoid for the yeah. uh, split charger. Yeah, the one over Obviously, there. Obviously, normal battery. Have you upgraded the fan or the cooling system or? It's got, apparently, when I had it, it's had a bigger radiator. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Yeah. It's got a bit bigger alternator, of course. You've got rid of the viscous, have you? No, it's still there. Oh, is it just lower down? It's just can't. Oh, right, yeah. If you yeah. look at it as a kit here, where well, you have to drop the radiator with the. Got you. Oh, yeah. Everything just drops. Yeah, there's little spaces on everything. Yeah. yeah. Even the oil cooler, you have to move the pipes and everything, because otherwise, <laughs> you just have to get to the way. So. Obviously, I've removed the EGR valve. And these are all your breathers for all yeah. your axles and Pitting everything else, yeah. I've got a turbo gauge by your elbow to turn my turbo up. Right, yeah. And I'm there. So I'm running about one point. So you've got adjustable boost? Yeah, I'm running right. 1.3 bar on it. Right, point. nice. <laughs> about, the, about the max essential tech, I think. Have you got a, an EGR? Yeah. Yep, yeah, so that, that's what I need. I desperately yeah, need that. 650 degrees it goes up to, if I'm up a hill, with full power. Right. And that's pushing. That's something I need, because yeah. mine, mine does have an overheating issue yeah. on hills when I'm in the middle of summer, so it. it'd be nice to see the exhaust temperature before the water temperature well, goes up. Yeah. Well, obviously, like I said, even the engine's got to breathe the kit on it, so that's what all the pipes are for. Pump's turned up a lot. <laughs> a lot? Just a lot? <laughs> well, like I said, it's turned up to maximum it'll possibly go. Yeah. Just to get more power to get to them wheels. Yeah, yeah, because that's, that's, there's a lot of it. How, with the drivetrain, because this is automatic and wheels, what's the miles per gallon difference between a standard Discovery and this? About six. Six miles per gallon, is that it? Yeah, about six. Fantastic. I got about 25 out of it when I had it. Right. And now, like I said, I'm getting around about 18 ish, 19 ish. Right. Take it easy, you get a little bit more, but I've geared it the opposite way because I forgot to mention I've done the diffs, haven't I? Yeah. I've changed the diff, uh, diffs. Oh, you've got low ratio so diffs. I've got a low ratio, so yeah. now I've got a very high revs with low speed, but it's built to pull and get me out of trouble and yeah. go anywhere rather than. Yeah, you don't need pull. motorway speed, yeah. The motorway is just a bit in between to get to the place I want to be. Yep. You look from the outside, you don't expect that, do you? 
Right, so there's no getting away from this is modified, so I mean it's sat, it's stanted big. What have you what have you done to it? Right, there's a four inch body lift, two inch suspension lift, and some 33 tyres put on there. Uh, other than that it's just got a few other little bits underneath, not that much different uh, bushes and stuff. But other than that, like I say it's an extra about seven or eight inches higher than normal. So the, the rock sliders, did you make them yourself? Yeah, I made them myself. Yeah, and you, yeah. when we went to Wales, you had lockers in this, didn't you? Yeah, got lockers in there. Uh, front and back? Yeah, yeah, front and back. So you've got the centre differential lock, and then you've got axles front yep. and rear. So you've got true yep. four-wheel drive, not just yes. four-wheel drive. Uh, Ashcroft lockers. Right, fantastic. Uh, uh, obviously, dip breather kit underneath as well. Yeah. Full engine and axles. So it's, it's fully done, it's yep. not just yep. the, yep. the little bits to make it look like no, no, it. it's fully done. Fantastic. I mean, even the uh, air compressed guy, so dip free, well, free the kit on as well. <laughs> Technically, <laughs> this vehicle can go over the water, but I can't because I won't be breathing. <laughs> you need a snorkel kit for you. Yeah, I need, I need, I need like you said, it, I can go up to here, and obviously, if it's up to there, I'm not breathing. Yep. <laughs> so, I'd need a bloke in the back with a, 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 with a respirator, wouldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Right, so that's uh, Brummy Prepper's truck. That's how uh, he's kitted it out. Like I say, he's also got his Sankey trailer. If you want any more information off him or you want to watch any of his videos, he is a YouTuber. I'll put the link in the uh, description down below. So if you want to check his channel out, uh, like I say, he's called Brummy Pepper, lovely guy. And uh, he started coming on quite a lot of the Bug Out Vehicles UK meets. So, yeah, thanks for watching.